the frog here. There's the tag, and uh, that brings McCall back in. They'll both stay in there. Watch this. Double elbow. Oh, and then another one right to the throat from McCall as McCall goes straight into a choke. And Buddy Wayne comes into the ring to try to rescue his partner, and of course, guess what happens? Gary Allen getting him out of there, but in the meantime, well, they really didn't get a chance to double team on the frog. Gary Allen did get back there a time. Mike Edwards. Go, froggy, go is the cry from the crowd. They're really enjoying this tag team match. Want to remind everybody, we videotape in the studios at BCTV in Burnaby, British Columbia. Our next taping will be on January the 4th. January the 4th at uh, about 8 o'clock at BCTV in Burnaby, British Columbia. And if you're going to be in Vancouver for the uh, Christmas holidays or whatever and not going back too early, January the 4th at the studio, BCTV. It's absolutely free. You just first come, first serve. Be in the lineup at the front door by 8 o'clock. And we'll be videotaping at about 8.15 or so. Monday, January the 4th. Love to see you here. There's the tag. Brings in Buddy Wayne. A look at Mike Edwards heading for the other corner. Ah, referee Gary Allen says he did not see the tag. And Wayne is not allowed in there. Now, this is going to hurt the Frog a little bit as they just keep trading off. Frog was ready to come out of there, but did the tag, but Gary Allen didn't see it. Let's go, Froggy. Let's go. That's the cry from the crowd. Frog getting up. Got to get Edwards off him. Now solve that problem. Gets in. Gets the tag in to Buddy Wayne. Wayne comes out, walks right into Mike Edwards, but he knows how to handle that. Again, 190-pound Buddy Wayne, about the same size as the frog. Wayne. There's Buddy Wayne putting them together. Does that very well. Doug McCall bounces right out of the ring. On the side of the ring there, you can see Jonathan Sayers and Neil Drummond. Flying drop kick from Buddy Wayne. Buddy Wayne trying for the cover. Not going to get away with that. Edwards catches him coming out of there. Mike Edwards. Little eye gouging on Buddy Wayne. Buddy was actually going to the corner. Walked into the wrong one after that. Takes that back body drop. And this is going to hurt. No, I thought Edwards was going to just stop on him. Goes back into the ring. Looks him the other way. Missed him completely. Buddy Wayne just flying tackle. And again, just about had him. Until Doug McCall came in. Now the frog being asked to come in and do a yeoman service here. On Mike Edwards. Now the frog. Figure he could just sort of. Oh, look at this. They're both on the ropes. You can see it coming. Who goes first? Together. And that should do it. Oh, wait a minute. We got everybody coming into the ring. Well, I believe that he did get the three count in before everybody got into the ring. Now we've got. Well, there's Buddy Wayne down there. They're taking the mask off Frog up into the ring. They're pulling the mask off the Frog. The match is over. Buddy Wayne and the Frog have won it. But they are taking the mask, or trying to take the mask off the Frog. They have got the mask off the Frog. There's our first look at the Frog. But Vern Siebert comes into the ring along with Dory Singh, I Tun. I don't know who all is in there. As they start to work over, the match is over. 
The match is over, but the Frog, as you can see, taking a tremendous punishment from Vern Siebert and company. And I don't know what they all call that group. Well, now we got a few others coming into the ring. We've got the Wolverine. We've got the Wolverine in the ring. We've got uh, Jetson in the ring. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to go up to ringside and see what's going on. Looks like they're going to try and pack him out of there. We'll get to ringside and see. An awful lot of blood spilled in that match. I just want to say. I right can there. say not not in that match. I wouldn't even be fair. I'd have to say that an awful lot of blood spilled after that match, and I don't know why you had to do that. I'll tell you the reason. I said I would get rid of the A team. Now I got rid of the A team. Where's the B team, Ed? I think you might be looking at the B team. You know we're gonna swing and sway, go all the way, Ed Carl. We're gonna be rocking and rolling strutting and strolling, dancing and prancing all over this town with all the title belts. But that's not oh, all on. we're after, Ed Carl. We're not just after the title belts. We're here on a mission, and that mission is to put these two gutter rats right out of wrestling. These two gutter rats by the name of the A-Team. Now they can bring Rick Davis in here, tag him up with the frog or any combination they like and they're still going down, 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 down. Am I right, Byrne? Am I right or wrong? Oh, wait a minute, you couldn't do it during the match, huh? Hey, listen, I told you, Ed, and I told everyone, I was gonna make sure that the three of us with our brain, John and Sayers, in our corner, was going to get rid of the A-team. And did I or did I not do that? Look, uh, you got rid of them in this match, but I mean, you mean you think hey, they're not listen. gonna come back? That is it. You people have seen the last of the A-Team. This is it. The last you people are ever going to see of the A-Team. All you people have to worry about is the icon, Gory Singh, John Lynn Sayers, and Neil Drummond in the background. Right, Neil? Now, wait a minute here. You know, you keep parading this great belt you got around here. It says the Canadian Junior mm -hmm. Heavyweight title yes, belt. that's right. Eh? Aren't you getting a little chubby for that? Hey, listen, I'm in that weight category. I'm not... Not... Uh, Ed, you know I'm, I'm a junior the truth. heavyweight. That's what you're doing. You, know, you, you know I'm a junior heavyweight. I look like a junior heavyweight, don't I? I'm a junior heavyweight. You're getting a little don't sloppy you, there, Bert. Don't you start confusing us with facts. Now, just keep your nose out of hit. You're here to interview, not interrupt. Now, just keep your nose out of our business, Ed Carl, because you saw what happened to the last person. Facts, facts would really confuse Fuzzy, no question. But we'll be right back with more wrestling right after these words as soon as we play them out of here. We'll be right back.